Getting this beautiful soap cut. First world, some blessing. First world. Get that beautiful private label. You can be naming it your own bar. That chamomile and lavender. Made with shea butter. I can only tell that shea butter. You can see the shea butter. I was listening to something on the uh, radio the other day. About, uh, I think this guy. He's a he's a swindler. <laughs> I think it's a Dr. Collier. I think it's you, Dr. Collier. He's a swindler. Every time he brings something to the market for the people about diabetes, so most definitely his office got it. Most definitely he's you just call him, he gonna hook you up. Come in, we do that, you know. But um, he said they got this new truck, this new this new drug for diabetics, and you're a doctor, so I know you know. I swear I'm not a doctor, so I shouldn't even know any of this information. Well. You know, well, it's, anybody can know it, but a little in depth. So they got this medicine that's gonna take your your sugar levels down, your A one C levels down, and the way that it does that is by taking the sugar out of your blood. By some process using the kidneys. And it's gonna make you lose weight as well. So they restore, and then he was, he tried to criticize the people, and he was like, to restore your, you know, your A1C levels or whatever you, uh, Get your sugar to go down and your levels are straight and you're within the range again. The only problem with that is that's not doing anything for the insulin levels. Your insulin is doing nothing for insulin resistance. So, and he knows that. <coughs> Dr. Collier, I know you know the drug that you're promoting does nothing for insulin resistance. And insulin resistance for type 2 diabetics is the reason why they're type 2 diabetics. Not no sugar levels. Hold on, let me get that right. Can't get the right light. There we go. My camera is. Yeah. But, um, so. You're still insulin resistant. 
He's still a diabetic. And he knows that. But some pharmaceutical company has him paid, just like y'all doctors. Y'all got this pharmaceutical company are paying them real good. Paying them very well to get those drugs out. We can't blame Dr. Collier. Dr. Collier is trying to get his daughters and everybody else through college and make the Collier family a household name 20 years from now and get the money up like the Gucci's and everybody else and the Forbes and the Wells Fargo's and you know, he's just trying to get his name, his last name out there and he'll do whatever it takes. A lot of people do whatever it takes to, to do that. So, can't blame him. I think, you know, just through habituation, he's going to pretty much take on his environment in that way. So, we can't blame him for that. But, It's the insulin, not sugar, which is the problem. And there's only way to lower your insulin levels. See, because your body are used to sugars, of course, but your sugars can't get into the cell from your bloodstream into the cell without hitchhiking on insulin. Insulin is the messenger or insulin is the person that, like Christ, takes your sugar into your cell. When you have an insulin resistance, that means your insulin tries to get in there because he has the keys and your cells like, hey, done seen you three, four, five times a day already. You chill. Being that he chills out in the bloodstream, the sugar has to chill because the sugar does not have the keys to get into there. The sugar has to leach on to the insulin and the insulin has to get in. If the insulin can't get in, the sugar can't get in. This Dr. Collier drug, as he explained it, pretty much says that the insulin still can't get into the cell but through another mechanism unnatural to the body, simply because you have to take a drug for it, it's now going to pick the sugar up and just leave the insulin out there by itself and use that in the bloodstream and get rid of that as energy. So, it's a couple of things. I don't know if they're going to say now that cell that was trying to get insulin that can't get that, that was trying to get that sugar in through insulin that don't get it the sugar's not there now because it's going to burn it off in the bloodstream and you're going to lose weight which is unnatural but I, I don't know what dr collier and the you know the drug administration doing or whatever drug it is but i do know that being diabetic pretty much is not a physical too much imbalance that you have with the insulin and all of that, but it's a hormonal imbalance. And your hormonal package is damaged due to the high insulin levels. So, you know, uh, not gonna work. This is what's gonna happen. You're gonna they're gonna be taking those drugs. And I got something else to say too. Earth wellness. Give me that picture that I want. There it is. It's gonna um, <sighs> it's 
That's from one of those drugs just gonna simply 10, 15 years. People are gonna still be taking the drugs just like when they was giving you insulin and dying. And people, oh man, what happened? Dr. Collier told us this was it. This is this was you get to lose weight and everything. Not doing anything for insulin resistance. Not doing anything about the metabolic rate. So, uh, still going to be having all the problems of diabetes. And what I said I was going to come back and say was I had a beloved family member and, and let's just say his injuries had nothing to do with the liver. He went to the hospital. They worked on it. And they had to do some amputations. And he ended up dying due to liver failure. He didn't go, had no liver problems coming in. Had zero problems with the liver coming in. But as I understand, died of liver failure, uh, which says that his liver now wasn't able to be a liver. And the injuries, yes, he may could sustain from now that he had, but you can't do it without your liver, period. And I don't know if there's any liver transplants out there or not. But what happened was they put him on so many drugs, so many different types of drugs that they ruined his liver. So... Kind of the hospital killed him as well because his injuries were sustained, but his liver now is damaged to a point to where it can't fight off anything. One shot of liquor may kill you because your liver can't even stop the poison from just flooding the bloodstream and just staying and killing you. So. The liver is super damaged. Not due to none of the injuries you came in for, but due to the drugs that we put you on and we used on you to try to fix those injuries. Your liver was fine, so watch out about those drugs that they're putting in you each and every day. Drug is killing your liver that they're giving you. That ask them what 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 liver damage are you giving me, and am I old enough and able enough and healthy enough to sustain the liver damage that the drugs that you're giving me um, are producing? Peace out, Earth Wellness One Hundred Two.